Hi, I'm Chuck, and this is my Modix 120X large 3D printer. Today, we're gonna to talk about leveling the bed on this giant uh, 3D printer and how that can affect your prints if it's not completely level. Now, there's a couple of things that are super important when you're doing a 3D print, any 3D print, let alone a large 3D print. The number one item is to make sure that your first layer goes perfect. And one of the things that you can do right off the bat to make sure that that happens is make sure that your bed is as absolute level as possible. Temperature plays a big role on making sure that you have adhesion, but your bed plays a role on that first layer getting perfect, but also each layer after that being perfect. Because even a small amount of difference of layer height when you go to do a 3D print um, can, can ruin a print. Can, it can ruin your machine on top of that. In fact, if you think about it, when you're printing with a uh, 0.4 millimeter nozzle, the thickest print that you'll generally do is 0.3 millimeters, okay? So set about 75% of the nozzle diameter, all right? So about, about 0.3 millimeters, okay? Now, if you're using a 0.8, most of the time I'm using a 0.8 millimeter nozzle, and I'm gonna be printing things upwards of a layer height of 0.6 millimeters, because that'd be three quarters, uh, three quarters of that. So most of the time I'm running around 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millimeters. But if you're doing something even smaller with a 0.4, then you've got to be cognizant of how much of a difference of bed level you have from one side of the bed to the other side. Because this is four feet. That's a long ways across this bed. And if you're off just a little bit, so take a look at this dime, for example. A dime, they generally say, is about a millimeter thick. This is actually 1.32 millimeters thick, to be exact, because I just measured it. Um, I'm sure they're not all exactly the same thickness, but 1.32 millimeters thick, okay? And this is a measuring device that I use for measuring the bed, which is 3.2 millimeters thick. So really about three millimeters thick, okay? Now, if you were printing something with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, and you're running at a layer height of 0.3 millimeters, then you're talking about something that's a quarter of the thickness of this dime right here. Something very, very small, right? So, and if you're running something that's gonna be more along the lines of 0.6 millimeters, where you're looking at almost the thickness, about half of the thickness of this dime, which you have to make sure that you are accurate to with this bed. Because what would happen is, if you're off just by a little bit, on one side of, of this printer coming across to the other side, and that layer height is running at uh, 0.3 millimeters thickness, and, and this, let's say this side is higher than that side by half a millimeter, just half, half of the thickness of a dime, okay? Then your extruder head, your extruder, is gonna come across here at, at one height here, and then crash into your print on the other side of this bed, which will then either ruin the print, rip it off the bed, or worse, take the take the extruder right off of your right off your 3D printer. Okay, and then just and then of course the machine's still moving along; it doesn't know that it's just broken away. And then you got a ruined print, and you got a machine that you got to fix, especially if you're leaving something for a long period of time. So my prints are sometimes I leave for a week week and a half, sometimes up to two weeks to print one giant print, which is why I have cameras uh, that watch this remotely and automatic, automatic shutoffs, so that if I log in to a camera from my phone and I see something is going wrong, I can actually shut it off, okay? Now, let's say you're going the opposite way. Let's say that this side of the bed is half of a millimeter too low versus this side. Then what would happen is this end of your print may be fine, but as it comes towards this end, it's gonna be higher in the air, and now you're not gonna have bed adhesion on your first layer, which you really, really need. The second problem that you're gonna have is that if you do get layer adhesion, then your print later on is gonna be higher coming across, and it's gonna just spit material down and not actually give you a good layer of adhesion in between layers, right? So you'll have a cracking uh, between layers on your prints. So it's extremely important to make sure that this bed is level. 
And I will tell you that I don't care what machine you have, um, you generally want to make sure that that bed is level each and every single time. And let me show you an example. All right, I'm going to use this metal tool that I use. It's point. It's a 3.2 millimeters in thickness. And I'm gonna set it here in the center of my bed. And I'm gonna lower this printer until it just starts to hit my to hit this piece. So I'm gonna bring it down about all the way down to three. Okay. Now you can see that it doesn't quite touch this guy, alright? So you can see I can slide this up underneath, back and forth. And there's still a little bit of a gap there. You know, there might be a full millimeter. So now I'm gonna go down to uh, 0.1 millimeters at a time. And I'm gonna bring it down a little bit at a time until I can slide this and it touches a little bit more. Okay. And there we go. Now I'm just now barely touching the top of the plate that I'm using, this 3.2 millimeter plate, and the bottom of the nozzle, all right? Just barely touching, okay? Now, when I bring this, so that's the center of my bed. It is currently right at 2.4 millimeters of height, according to this, to, um, uh, for, the, for the height above, or it thinks it's 2.4 millimeters high from the bed up to the bottom of the nozzle itself. But I know that this, this measuring device that I have is 3.2 millimeters, but that's really fine. It doesn't really matter because I'll handle that with my offset. But what, what's important is when I bring this guy over to the front of my bed, now I can see now that when I come over here, I'm actually hitting this. I can't slide underneath. Now, I just did a print that took 35 hours and went up about 180 millimeters in height, okay? So, something happened during the whole process of this print where this bed is no longer completely level. Now, the beds generally aren't, especially this size bed, are not completely level anyway. Um, and that's why there's a process with, during the setup here where you're, where you're telling the machine to pick 100 points and as part of your calibration so that it knows that. But this is a difference in leveling. Right, because that's a pretty big difference from one side to the other, okay? In fact, if I then bring this thing down to the other side, for comparison, You can see that I almost can slide this underneath my uh, nozzle head. In fact, if I were to take this and adjust my nozzle so that I was uh, gonna rub on, underneath here. So let me go down here to my, my Z screws here and adjust those a little bit, okay? And then bring this a little bit more. There we go. Now I'm just touching the bottom of my nozzle with my metal plate, okay? Now I'm gonna bring this back down to the other side. Let's see how much of a difference we have here. Okay, so now you can see it does not, the plate does not go underneath, okay? In fact, if I come over here and I lower this bed, so I'm gonna come out of my calibration here and go to my pair, move my axis, my Z axis, all right? We're gonna see how far off this actually got. So we're at 2.4. There you go. 2.9. Now I'm sliding underneath. Okay. We'll bring it to 2.8. And I'm hitting. So 2.9 is my number. 
okay? So I started at 2.4 and I was hitting. Now I'm at 2.9 of a distance and I can, I can just slide underneath here, okay? So that's a half a millimeter difference from one end of this bed to the other, other end of this bed after I calibrated on my last print. And that half a millimeter, 0.5 of a millimeter, is half the thickness of a dime. If I was printing something that had a half millimeter layer height, which is pretty common if you're using the larger nozzle even, but let alone a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, I'm gonna be doing more of a 0.3 millimeter height. My, my heights on each end will not match, and that will cause a problem. So we need to calibrate this machine each and every time because the plate is so big across here. Now, if you're doing a small print, something minor, and it's gonna be like in this one little zone, then yeah, you could probably get away with a couple of prints without actually having to um, uh, calibrate it and, and get this thing completely level. But if you don't, then what will happen, will happen, is eventually you're gonna start seeing some torn up prints and possibly damage to your machine. So let's talk about how to, how to level this bed uh, very, very quickly and efficiently. Now, some of the newer Modix machines that they have out there have an auto-leveling feature, okay? And mine is a little bit older model. It's a couple years old now, but it works awesome. And it's, it's completely manual. So really what it comes down to, the process works exactly the same and what you actually need to do. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that your extruder head is hot if you've got material in it, okay? If you don't have any material in it, then you don't really need to worry about that. But if you have material in it and you don't have it warm enough to melt the material, then what's going to happen is you're going to have a solid piece of material sticking out of the bottom, like how this one is. It wants to extrude, ooze a little bit of material because there's pressure inside that nozzle. So you want to make sure that your temperature is hot enough, then you want to bring, bring this guy home, okay? So we're going to auto-home it. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna come over to the software itself and we're gonna begin our process for calibration and uh, for the tilt. So we're gonna go, first thing we need to do is we need to go to 100, uh, 120X calibration or whichever modics you have and come down and skip past tilt calibration and go down to unified bed leveling, select that and then come down to the bottom and, and deactivate UBL, okay? So what that's gonna do is it's gonna lock these Z screws in place, okay? And if you don't do that, if you don't deactivate your UBL, then you're actually not gonna have a very level bed because these Z screws are gonna move around. I've learned that the hard way, okay? Then we go back a level, we go to tilt calibration, all right? And underneath tilt calibration, step one is start process. Okay, and that'll bring the head to the center. And then the next thing we want to do is use our leveling tool. Now, like I said, mine is a piece of metal that they sent with the machine. It happens to be 3.2 millimeters thick. Um, you know, they, it can be three millimeters thick, it can be two millimeters thick, it can be one millimeter thick, okay? I would not go much thinner than three. And the reason why is when you bring this head from one side of the machine to the other, if you're off by several millimeters, you may actually start dragging your nozzle into the actual aluminum bed itself, okay? Uh, so that being said, there should be a reset button on your machine. Mine happens to be right here. So when I do bring it across the first time after this, uh, because I can't necessarily see how, how, how far three millimeters is from one side to the other, I'm actually ready to reset the machine so it doesn't start scratching up my bed. So I need to take my, my tool, whatever tool I'm gonna be, be using here, and again, it doesn't matter how thick it is, just as long as you've got something that you're gonna use all the time. I'm gonna set that underneath my nozzle head, and I'm gonna bring this machine back to tilt calibration, and I'm gonna adjust my height on the machine, okay? So I'm gonna start bringing it down to about three, because I, I know that I'm not gonna hit it. Three, okay? And then now, I can see that I have a little bit of a gap here. Now, I don't have to have it exact on here, just so you know. It's just making sure that I've got the height of this machine somewhere that's convenient to me to adjust my Z screws. 
And the Z screws for this machine, so some of the Modex movies have, have uh, three Z screws, this one has four. The 120X has four Z screws because the plates are so big. The larger machines that, are, that they're coming out with probably, I'm guessing, have six uh, Z screws, maybe a little bit more even. Um, but my machine has four. And each one of these Z screws has an adjustment knob for the belts right here. And this is what you adjust in order to be able to raise or lower that section of the bed. And there's four of these. One, two, three, four, okay? So what I wanna do is get this close to level. So I usually bring mine to three, right up, in other words, right above it. And then I, I go through a process. And for me, this has worked out as the fastest process for leveling this, this machine. And I can level this machine literally in about two minutes uh, if it's each and every print. If I wait a long time, then it's gonna take quite a while to level the machine because it'll be so far, um, uh, you know, so far off on each end and I have to double check it. So the process that I go through is from the center of the machine, you have your, this would be my back left as I'm facing the machine and, and front left and then right, right side of the machine. Um, and that corresponds obviously with the controller itself. So what I do is I come and I will go over to the front left and I will check that height and adjust. Then I will go to the back left and check that height and adjust. Then I come back to the front left and check it and adjust. So that way, that means that I'm level here now, right? I've done three point adjustment. Then I slide down to the right hand side and I do the front right. Then I go to the back and I do the back right. And then I come back again to the front for the front right, which now means that this side is perfectly level, okay? And then if I, once I'm done with that, I'll bring it back to the front left and double check. And if everything is perfect and I'm, and I'm you know, I just have to adjust a touch or not at all, then I'm good to go. I go back to my far back left and I check one last time there. If I have minor measurements or I'm sorry, minor um, uh, adjustments that I have to make, then I'm all set and my bed is level. If I have to keep it tweaking with these things back and forth, then I need, I'll run around a second time, okay? So let's run through the process. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna adjust it down. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna move axis, go to my calibrate left. And we come to my front left screw. All right, I'm gonna run my tool underneath and I'm just getting, just touching actually. I can feel it just touching, okay? And you should feel it. Now it shouldn't be hard to slide underneath because then you're just taking, you're kind of wearing down your, your nozzle head. You should just be able to drag it and feel it touch, okay? Now, since, that, since that's fine, I'm going to go to my rear, my left rear. Okay, and again, same thing. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to try to just go underneath and I can clearly just feel it. So I can, I can barely feel it, okay? So that means this side is already level. If not, then I would adjust my screw. So I'm going to bring it back to my front. Do it again. And I can just feel it touching. Okay. So now I'm going to bring it to calibrate right. I'm going to my front right screw. And while this is going on, I'm watching to make sure that I'm not going to hit the bed. But I'm also listening for noises. So the machine's going to be printing for about 12 hours today. And I want to listen for any clicks or strange noises that just don't sound normal, which means there may be something wrong with the machine, okay? So here, here I am on the right-hand side, and as you can see when I do this one, you can actually see the gap, okay? Look at that big gap right there, all right? So to adjust this, you can either tighten or loosen this adjustment knob, okay? Which the adjustment knob is connected to the belt. The belt is connected to the Z-screw. Turn the adjustment knob, Z-screw moves. Uh, you can move the Z-screw too if you want, but I found that this way is a little bit easier to get a little bit more fine-tuning. So if I turn this knob to the right, then this bed will raise. If I turn the knob to the left, counterclockwise, the bed will lower, okay? So right raise, left lower. So I need to raise this bed a little bit. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna turn it
to be three turns, okay? And now I can't move my, I can't move this, my, my plate, so I'm gonna loosen a little bit. There we go, got a little bit of, of a gap still. So now I'm gonna turn this just a touch. Still got a little bit of a gap, a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now I'm starting to drag, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna bring it to the left hand, or the uh, right hand side to the back. All right, and because there's a gap in the front, there's probably a gap in the back. So we're going down here, slide this up underneath. And clearly there is, so that means I have to come now to my back right screw. Tighten that a touch. Come up. Run it again. I'm hitting, so I need to loosen it. It's a little bit. Back up. It'll work out for your back. You're bending down and back up again. Almost there. One more time, loosening to get the bed to go down a touch. And still a little bit too low. There we go. Now I'm just barely touching, okay? So because I moved this bed a little bit in the back right, it might have it might have changed my adjustment in the front right, okay? And that's why I come back and I'll come back and I will go to my tilt calibration again, go to my right, and now I'm gonna bring it to my front right and double check it. I can feel that it's right on it. It's pretty close. Might as well just a tad tighter. I mean like a little bit. There we go, now I feel drag, okay? Now I'm gonna come back over and I'll double check the left hand side of the printer. Again, I'm listening for noises. All right, and now I can feel I'm just a little bit, I mean, again, just a, a touch too high. So I'm gonna tighten it just a itty bitty bit. Yeah, just touch. And then lastly, hopefully last, I'll come over to my tilt and bring it to the rear. In. This is a tad high now, so I'm going to come down. And this one, I'm just tighten it a little bit. Just a itty, itty, itty bit. Okay, go up here. Still not quite. So, one more time here. And now I got it. Actually, it might be a bit too much. I'm losing just a touch. Because I mean, I want this thing dead on. And perfect. Okay. Well, great. So now I have my bed perfectly level. I feel very comfortable with it. I went through each of the different points and I feel quite comfortable that this bed is as level as I can possibly get it, especially for a print that's gonna use a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. Now, if I were gonna use a 0.4 millimeter nozzle on something, I would actually go back and double check this one more time to make sure it's perfectly level again. And if something's off, then try to adjust it again until I feel comfortable doing something really, really thin. But I can tell from experience that this is actually quite level and I don't need to do anything else to it. 
So I'm gonna continue printing at this point and crank something up, and I'll try to do some more videos for you on this great machine. Thank you very much for watching, and if you like this video, please like it, give me a thumbs up, follow me, and there'll be more to come. Thanks so much.